so I'm here near Malden in Essex. I just came to the sea so I could get some fresh air before I pick up the batteries. Now it's a bit of an odd journey because I used my mother's car so <laughs> I haven't filled up a petrol car in maybe two years. So um, actually no, that's not right. I did have my diesel last year um, until February when I went completely electric. So it's uh, it's been an interesting one, filling up for the first time in such a long time, it felt kind of strange. But uh, I'm here now and I'm off to pick up the batteries in a couple of hours, so I'm just spending some time near the ocean, having a look around, getting some fresh air, and then um, just getting the batteries and heading back with the new batteries for the G-Wiz. We've just, got, we've just got here with Les and Steve. Steve and we've got the modules here, 60, 60 volt modules and Les is just going to do a quick talk about, talk about them so I let him kind of... Yeah, okay. So the modules are in strings of six and they're originally designed with, on the front of each module. I'll show you one. So on the front of the module got two terminals plus and a minus on the front and you've got a link bar between the modules so the link bars go like that so inside the link bar is the link and yeah. the, the nuts for them so they're designed for a string of six you get a string of six you've got 400 volts okay and on the back they push to into each other and so the, the coolant comes in at one end goes through all six and then you'll see the last module is sealed off so the coolant runs round and back out of the and uh, obviously if you're going to load them up or you're going to fast charge them then the coolant system has yeah. to be can you in. can you just put water in that or does it have to be no, the mixture no, no. in in the documentation you've got it tells you what's in there so is that, is, that, is, that is that essential for oh okay. yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, you you freeze in these oh yeah because of course of course be yeah <laughs> Is that, just, is that just basically using antifreeze? You can put antifreeze in it? You can tend to operate the charge and discharge. Okay. If you're just doing them at like half capacity, you can charge them slightly. You won't only need the units. If, if you're fast charging them on fast discharge, then yeah. the coolant system is why they're there. So you can get air cooled batteries. These are not. No, 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 of course. But, but it depends how you use them. Oh yes, in, in, the, in the little G-Wiz it's only going to be pulling um, out of, well I'm going to have two strings of 12 so I'll only be pulling 400 max amps out of all of them, so there's hardly anything. At the moment I'll only have a 2.5 kilowatt charger, the original charger, um, which will actually charge right up to 66 volts, so um, for now I don't need the other chargers, but I am debating on getting some getting three from Alibaba and kind of, well getting six actually so that I can charge at 12 kilowatts. Um, and because right. because these can handle three times the charge according to the yeah. according to the uh, Just article. Be careful when you're I'll, I'll only be I'll only be charging them at less than one C anyway because yeah, it's uh, be yeah it, it's, it's 15, 15 kilowatt hours is what I'll have in the car so twelve kilowatts is what I'm planning to planning to do. Yeah. And uh, so I'll give you all the links yeah. for them all. Okay. Um, so that then you've got at least you've got the links for the future. So on the front of the module, yeah. you can see here you've got a, an electronic board here. Yes. Yeah. And uh, there's two thermistors, so measuring the temperature. Okay. And, and this connects, so there's a they link to each other. You can see they connect. They're daisy chained together. They're all daisy chained together. Yeah. So you've got all these links here if you wanted to configure them that way. And that's how you connect to the 60 volts as well for testing the voltage. Or is that something else? Uh, th this is a CAN bus signal yeah. that's running through here. Okay. So you've got to get somebody who can interrogate the CAN bus. In whatever you're constructing to put this in... I've got some board down yeah, to you, bolt you them to. You need a metal bar at the front here so yeah. that they go in and sort of clip underneath. I see. Yeah. And then at the back, these clamps go Okay. Like oh, I can easily sort something out for that, yeah. Ah, okay. quite... So we'll give you 16 of these Okay. and I can give you six end clamps as well if you 
if you think you need them. I mean, don't okay. take them if you don't need them. But. The end clamps are for putting at the ends of this, at the sides of the strings. Yeah. Yeah. There's a clamp goes on the end. Okay. It's that way up, isn't it? And is that just to secure it on the it just side? Just going that way and this way. So I came, I came along here to pick up the uh, batteries that I bought on eBay. Uh, this video is kind of uh, documenting the journey down. Now, when I came along here, Nick here came, Nick, Nick here showed up, and it turns out that he met me at Fully Charged Live when I had the G Wiz. So Nick has a rather interesting venture here, and I think I'm just going to let him kind of uh, tell us a bit about it, um, like the name of it, what you do here, show us some yeah, of the things of what you do. Yeah. So uh, we're based in. Uh, Let's just get out the wind a bit there. Yeah. We're based here uh, down in Essex in a couple of barns on a farm down here. Uh, the company's called Eco Classics. We've been going for around a year now. Uh, and we've got several projects in go. Um, clearly, you've got some batteries that you're picking up. Yes, from that's right. So they're going into the G-Wiz. We're going to put 60 volts right. into it. Okay. <laughs> um, let me show you this one. Yes, go for it. This is a uh, Westfield Lotus 11. Lovely. Um, and we did we built that about a year and a half ago now. And that's what really kicked it all off. Uh, so that's about 60 kilowatt hour motor in there. Okay. Uh, about 30 kilowatt hour of batteries. Yes. And do 120 miles something like that. <laughs> Lovely. It's 0 to 60 in under six seconds. It's uh, <laughs> it fits. Uh, What's in there? Yeah. It's the image and you've of the had car. you've had to strengthen it's, the chassis and everything for it. Or... Um, not significant. And what, what motors in it? It's it's one of these. This is the um, so it's actually um, it's Chinese sourced, but that okay. that's the um, 3D print of it. That's how we okay. actually got got stuff to work. Oh, and what power is that? Sixty kilowatts. Sixty kilowatt. Two hundred newton meters. No, about in horsepower. Uh so that's about eighty horsepower. Eighty. Oh, yeah. so that's that's not. Yeah, it's about the same as the 1275 A-series engine that it had before. So and, they, and I presume these are a better deal than the stuff that you can get hold of normally? or Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the great thing about this is we can do direct drive with it. The, okay. the power and torque that it puts out. There is yeah. a gearbox in the car now. Ah, it's like an auto. I see. So, yeah, a big advantage. But you just hook that straight to the drive shaft. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're quite heavily into 3D printing. Yeah. So this is... <laughs> This is what I'd say is our bread and butter motor now. Okay. This is uh, about 160 horsepower. Oh, wow. And 310 Newton meters. Again, Chinese source. Yes. Much everything. everything we do is new parts. Yeah. We don't, we don't re, um, repurpose anything. Okay. Um, then this is the 3D print of the motor that's going to go into the uh, E-Type over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's... Uh, that's a 1969 uh, Series 2 e okay. 3.2 litre engine. Lovely. Series. And that's going to get just over 600 Newton metres of torque uh, and about 300 horsepower. Gosh, so that's so, going to be quite fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's direct drive onto the prop shop. Okay. So we're trying to replicate that whole X XKE engine Yeah. Uh, with around about 54 kilowatt hours battery pack. Um, oh, that's amazing. So that yeah. that, that would do naught to 60 in yeah, quite... <laughs> the, the modelling says about five and a half seconds. The original car was about seven. So it will certainly make it more sprightly. But yes. I mean, with, our, with the control system that we've got, so I mean, we've <clears throat> developed our own... It's plastic. Really, but, but you, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Um, with that, we can do a lot of... So, uh, you're, so you're doing a lot of innovative things. Like, so if you know, like Zero V are doing a lot of um, innovative... Uh, uh, things on their own side of things. You're doing a lot here as well. You're kind of creating. Yeah. You're creating. We're, we're uh, trying to make it. So, so basically, you're trying to be able to slot it straight into a car, or. Yeah. yeah. So the the idea is that the best thing is engineer it once, right? And, yeah. uh, we're trying to use a modular system. Based, yeah. Based around these parts, but use the same control system. I see. So you aim to be able to just sell it as a kit that you can put into yeah, other cars. Absolutely. And... I mean, we've got another customer. Uh, that's that's doing 911. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a few 911s out there. <laughs> yeah. With that motor, we've got options to put um, the direct uh, reduction box on there. Okay. The diff on it. 
uh, we can put an inline reduction box on it and get the torque up. So as many as many different options. I mean, you could do it on a decent budget. You don't have to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay, electrification is not cheap. No, right? no. But, but compared to what's cheap. out there. But kit like that, probably twenty grand. Okay, that's not too bad. And that's that would be thirty-four kilowatt hour battery. Yeah. Oh, that's including the battery. Including the battery. Ah. Battery motor, controller. And so, and you'll so be able so. to and you'll be able to fit this to and anyone that's got a classic car or a, yeah. Dent. I mean this right. This is a nineteen sixty-five mini. Yes. Uh, but it's a race car. Okay. Um. And that's our replication of that, that motor. <laughs> with very basic. Poster. Well, well no, that, that, that's what everyone does, though, isn't it? But, Make it into yeah, cardboard I mean, first, and then you know where it's. These sort. are our battery modules. <laughs> okay. That's the controller for the motor. Yes. Uh, and then we're having a bespoke gearbox made because this thing needs to do about 220, 230 miles now. Um, so we've got data from the petrol mini. Yes. So um, yeah, it's really about trying to. Trying to get it to that kind of performance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. How so, long yeah. do you think it will take for that one to be completed? This one, uh, we're hoping that this one, uh, we should get it on the road January time frame, I would think. Amazing. Yeah. So, if, so if anyone wanted to come to you and uh, ask you about any conversions that they want to do personally yeah. or get some Absolutely. help with one, uh, how would they find you? Um, we're on the, on the internet. Uh, on Instagram, all on, under Eco Classics. Eco Classics. Eco Classics. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll have to follow you as well then, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's great. So if anyone, if, if anyone wants to get hold of Nick, um, just go on ahead to Eco Classics. Um, uh, Instagram is probably the easier one to track down. But you on are you on website as well? Yeah, we're on website. We're on Facebook. We're on yeah. Instagram. That's about all I can keep up with. <laughs> no, yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Bit of social media. Yeah, I, I completely um, understand that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, there's a lot going on, isn't there? But yeah, but, no. Uh, that... we're, we're passionate about what we do. Yeah. We understand classic cars. It's great to see more places doing this, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, there's a lot of competition out there, right? Mm. We're all doing something a bit, little bit different. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a perfect niche for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got, we've got another E Type Jag as well, yeah. which is a Series 1. In another barn over the back there, oh, wow. which we uh, which we just had 3D scanned to to make sure that we can fit it all in. So okay, yeah, brilliant. Lots of stuff going on. Brilliant. Well, thanks for introdu introducing thanks it, for and hopefully you'll get some people inquiring after seeing this video. <laughs> we'll see. But um, but no, thanks anyway, and thanks for the batteries. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck with yours. Right. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs>